Hey guys, it's Nick from bon Bonsai.com, and today I'm going to be talking about bonsai trees. Now, before I get started, I want to tell you about my bonsai ebook. Well, if you're interested in learning how to prune, trim, and sculpt your bonsai, then make sure you go to the link above, which is bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. Getting to the topic at hand, what are bonsai? Well, many people think of tiny little Japanese trees cut and pruned to a miniature size. But literally speaking, bonsai means a plant in a tray. While they are smaller than their wild counterparts, they don't have to be, uh, you know, but a couple inches tall. They can be grown in a pot in the garden and will be smaller than their wild counterparts. Many people believe that training bonsai trees uh, is a cruel pastime because the cultivator starves the trees and cuts it to such an extent that it becomes unhealthy. Um, actually, the opposite's usually true. While they're cut and pruned quite heavily to keep them at the size that you want, they're usually transferred from pot to pot regularly and are fed and watered much more than their wild cousins. Contrary to belief, uh, or popular belief, bonsai trees don't, or, uh, don't originate from Japan. Uh, there are records dating back more than 2,000 years to show that bonsai, or the art of bonsai, began in China. These bonsai weren't as small as the bonsai that people often, uh, in, you know, envision and uh, that were grown. Um, these were on an individual basis outdoors in pots. It was, though, uh, the Japanese that took this art form and then progressed it to the level it is now. This has led to quite a few different styles in, uh, you know, in Japanese and in Chinese bonsai. The Chinese bonsai being much more freestyle and more lightly pruned, and the Japanese miniature bonsai, uh, you know, is more heavily groomed and pruned, and looks much more like miniature natural versions of their full-sized selves. So, bonsai do not live shorter lives than if they were just wild trees. They regularly live for many centuries and are traditionally passed down from generation to generation in a family. Uh, they live nearly exactly the same length as their wild cousins and often much more healthy because of the attention they receive. In fact, they can live even longer. Now, not everyone has a large garden that they can grow, uh, you know, numerous trees and let them grow as big as they want. And even those that do have large gardens uh, still would need to wait many years before the tree became fully, you know, established. You can call it any more than just a sapling, really. Well, by growing bonsai, you don't need really any more room than the size of a pot. And because you only need them to, to grow, you know, a little, it's really more accessible to everyone to grow a bonsai than a full tree. You can even grow them inside if you want. You know, you just got to recreate the correct conditions for them to grow. Growing bonsai can easily and quickly become an addictive hobby. And it requires attention to detail foresight of how the tree will grow, and plenty of time and care. You'll undoubtedly feel a massive amount of satisfaction if you decide to grow a bonsai and you're good at it at all. And even if you're not good at it, that's fine. Keep practicing. You will get better. That's all for today. Make sure you check out the link above, and I'm going to be doing many, many, many more videos. So, see you in the next one.